So a little while ago, I did a video showcasing how to clean your PlayStation 5 with minimal teardown and technical ability. It was just a way to clear out any dust or dirt that may be clogging the system. And I had many requests on the Xbox Series system, so I figured today we'll go ahead and do a similar video here for the Xbox Series X and maybe a video down the road for the Switch potentially. Let me know about that one in the comments. But that's what we're gonna do here today is go over how to clean the Xbox Series X. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure the like button and subscribe if you're new. So like before, I do wanna quickly go over a few things you need in order to clean the Xbox Series X well. Uh, one of which is gonna be a way to actually open the system. The Xbox Series uses the T8 or Torx bit driver. I recommend just getting a full bit set. They're cheap on Amazon. And as you're probably realizing after seeing some of these videos, the Torx drivers, they're, they're used quite often. So it's good to have all the different sizes on hand for different projects that may come up. Also I recommend a cloth, paper towel, something like that. Compressed air, which you can still blow into the system to clean it, but you may inhale some dust, so I usually recommend just getting compressed air. Couple of dollars, it is worth it. And then a toothbrush. This will work well to clean out any crevices, loosen dust, and clean up the fan. Let's also quickly take a look at how the Xbox Series X cools itself. Now, it's pretty obvious there's a fan on top, and that fan, what it does is pull air through the entire console and expels it out of the top. So as this spins, air comes in through the back here. There are two different vents. As it comes through, it then moves up, going out the top and cooling everything, which does mean that it will be pulling in dust and dirt and all kinds of things uh, actually through the, the system. If you have it lower, say on the floor, it's probably gonna be pulling up quite a bit, especially if you have pets or anything, it's gonna grab a lot of that pet hair and attempt to, to pull it through the device. Fortunately though, it's actually pretty easy to get to the fan itself, which will make it a bit easier to clean. First though, let's take a look at the back of the system. You can already see one screw that's poking out right here. This is the Xbox Series X that I did a tear down for when the system first came out, but that just I mean, clear, a uh, clear indication as to where your screw is here. It's under the ta the sticker that they have. You can kind of peel that up. A little bit of uh, like uh, like air, hot air from say a hair dryer or something will at least make this easier to peel up. But otherwise you can just kind of get under there with the fingernail, start peeling it up. Or just take the Torx bit and drop it right in there and start unscrewing it. And it'll basically just make a little hole uh, in the back of the sticker. Speaking of stickers, you also have another one right here. When removed, you have a screw. And once both of these screws are removed, you will have to sort of pry a little bit around the edges as there are plastic clips here that are holding it in. And you could, I guess, use a butter knife or something. I mean, that's basically what, what this, uh, this edge here for my fix it is. It's just allows you to get in the sides and you just kind of press in like that. And you're just pushing the, the different clips in so that it clears where it's latched onto. And you can see some of those clips here, but just a little pressure, it'll pop out after you get those two screws out. And then with the back off, you can actually see the entire system. So up here is what we wanna focus on now. This is our fan. And then further down here, you can see our heat sink. So we do have direct access to this completely, which is great because otherwise you may not have access to one side and dust and dirt can be in there. And again, if you envision how this is pulling air in, you can see a pretty large compartment here with air coming through and then out the top. Anywhere in here is where dirt, dust, debris, hair can get caught, especially sort of in the, the fin array that we have for our heat sink. Down here you have your power supply and then you have your disc drive. You don't really need to worry about these too much. I would still put some compressed air just kind of in and around here as you can because you will see some dust sort of pile up. In the middle is just the entire motherboard. It's an interesting design that Microsoft went here kind of sandwiching it between obviously two large components here, big heat sink on one side, disc drive, power supply on the other. But once you get this open, just start spraying in any compressed air that you have in these compartments and see if you can even pick out some of the dust bunnies that may be clogged in there. I'm also gonna put some compressed air down and around here. So you can see some dust bunnies jumping out of there. Uh, especially if you have it on the floor and it's standing up. 
keep in mind this is the part that's gonna be uh, gonna be sucking in a lot of the a lot of the dirt and dust. You may have some kind of clogging that. All right, once you're satisfied with how those compartments are looking after dusting them out with the compressed air, we do wanna go ahead, pull the fan and just get a look at it, clean it up a bit, especially those fan blades. And it's pretty easy to get to, like I said, it's it's right here. And Microsoft did do the, the fun Easter egg with the Master Chief helmet. And they, they've done this in some of their previous systems. I think the Xbox One X had Master Chief riding a scorpion, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's on the motherboard, but we can see our cable running around here and then up to the fan. We just want to unplug this. You don't have to rip straight at it. Just, just give it a nice, nice little wiggle and you'll feel that it'll come loose and unplug. And then we have three different screws to remove. We have one here, this larger one in the middle, and then this one off the left. They're all T8s. And once you double check that this is unplugged, all three screws are out. Check this out. It actually just kind of slides right out. And I'm just going to give this a nice little dusting there again, just to get anything out that might be loose. Now we can get a pretty good look at our fan and it, it, it is a large fan that Microsoft jammed in here. A nice little fan shroud here at the top just to create sort of that, that suction effect as it pulls air through the system. And you're basically just wanna clean this up as much as you can, all of the different fan blades around that, that fan shroud on both sides. And I mean, mine, for example, you can see how much dust it has picked up here despite me opening and closing it multiple times. That's just kind of the way it goes with these air-cooled systems. So at this point, just spend some time scrubbing up the different blades and any of the crevices with your toothbrush to loosen uh, a lot of the debris. Come through with your, your paper towel, clean up especially around the walls and that, and that fan shroud, and then continue hitting it with compressed air until it's fairly clean. Oh, and obviously make sure your fan does spin and it doesn't get stuck or caught on anything uh, because if it does, you will have to replace your fan. That's probably why your system's overheating. Well, it definitely looks better. It doesn't have to be perfect because as long as you've loosened up anything that was on here, when it does turn on, it I mean, it's, it's a fan. It's gonna then kick out a lot of the debris. We're just looking for a lot of the larger dust bunnies and different things that have basically attached and, and, and grabbed onto the fan, but after cleaning it up, I think it looks pretty good. We can reassemble it. And keep in mind, this will technically be the same set of steps you would do to replace the fan. And these fans I've seen available on like uh, Amazon and eBay. So fortunately, it's a lot easier to replace these than it's been in previous generations. So you can see how it has kind of these railings here, almost like, like a shelf they'd be putting together. Just wanna line it up. And it should slide down very easily. Like you don't have to force it or push really, really hard. And look for this right here to line up as you press it down. Otherwise though, we just need to screw in the three screws here and plug it in. And then before you put your backing on, just go ahead and give that a wipe down as well. You'll see a lot of dust sort of forming around the edges, especially on these vents here. Just make sure they're cleared up. And then I just like to come through and just one more quick hit with the compressed air. Now for the backing, you can see it is keyed up at the top to sit down first. So make sure that is underneath the top plastic. And then make sure your clips on the sides are all inside of it here. And then on the bottom, and it's all basically gonna clip and then grab on itself. And then these screws mostly just support and hold it in tight. And of course, don't forget your little warranty sticker looking thing that literally means nothing anymore. And if you were able to follow along with that from start to finish, you should now have a fairly clean Xbox Series X. This is a process I'd probably recommend once a year maybe. And for the most part, it's pretty easy to at least have some compressed hair on hand and maybe just clean up the top vent every month or so. Just a couple of blasts in there with that to continue loosening up the dust. But I am happy with how much easier it is to clean and maintain these systems versus previous generations where you would have to rip out the entire motherboard just to get to the fan. And that was very difficult to go through for everyday users who just want to be able to maintain their fairly expensive investment here with their game systems and their library of games that are attached to all of that. But hopefully this was able to help some people out there. Maybe their Xbox Series Xs were running a little hot or even fully overheating. Definitely try cleaning it out first to see if that's able to help things. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.